guys welcome back to my youtube channel hope you guys are all doing well today we are going to be making these unique quick and easy tortilla wraps so let's get started So first what you're going to do is you're going to grab your tortilla and what you're going to do to your tortilla is that you're going to make a cut from so this is the middle of the circle around about here and I'm just going to just bring it a knife down like so and it may take a few trials and we've got ours open now what you're going to do is you're going to start adding your fillings so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some cheese on one side so i've got my cheese here and i'm going to put it i think on this side here i think i'm going to put my cheese like that so that piece is broken but that's fine and you can break up your cheese piece and you can make it just and you don't want the cheese right to be on the edge as cheese melts when you put it in when you put it in hot in a hot pan or in the grill so I'm just breaking up our cheese pieces and I think I think I'm just going to do do it like this I might actually break it up um, because I think and you don't need to use all of the cheese so I'm going to put some of this cheese aside and as cheese melts I'm going just arranging it to be how I think the cheese will be so I think the cheese should be fine like this so uh, we want our cheese to stay in its section so this is just a quarter of your circle so I'm just gonna bring it down a bit <coughs> this is a quarter of your circle now on the other quarter so which is if we see here is our cut we're going to go right all the way up so all of this side needs to be filled and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some spinach and this is a washed spinach and i think i'm just going to add in i think around about that much and guys this is really easy it's a really easy recipe and you can and the good thing about this recipe is that you don't have to stick to a one recipe you can customize it you can change it you can add an egg you can add in olives you can add in anything you really but like next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some bell peppers so I've got some orange bell pepper and a red bell pepper some pieces and I cut them long ways and I'm just going to place them just in this quarter and this is a really this is a really healthy recipe and this recipe is good for all of you cheeky chefs that are just stuck at home and you're you're doing your work and and you just want something quick and easy to eat so and in this section, I'm going to put some cucumber and some tomatoes. I think I'm going to put like, like something like this. Okay, so I think like this. And I'm going to put my tomatoes on top. <coughs> And this one is going to be our salty or spicy one as I like spices I'm going to add in spice but that is optional and you don't have to do it so I've got some green chilies here just cut up and I'm going to sprinkle them around so I'm going to put some on the cheese some on the bell pepper and some on the spinach some more on the bell pepper and you can add some black pepper and some salt and i'm just going to, i've got our mix here i just mixed it up and like so and i'm just going to just sprinkle it on top of our cheese so our spinach our salt and pepper our cucumber and tomato 
you'll get most of it as I love salt and cucumber so I'm going to put some on the bell peppers as well but I just want mine to be spicy so now we're on the bit where we need to fold it what we're going to do is we're going to grab this side first and we're going to fold it over and just make sure your filling stays in if you feel like there's too much you can take some out and then just like that next we're going to go over like so now this bit will take will take some time okay so we've done that bit now now our last bit just like that and there you, and there you have it a salty slash sour flour spicy tortilla now i'm going to put this one to a side and we're going to make our second tortilla now which is going to be our sweet one so now for our sweet one what we're going i'm going to use is apples and some chocolate spread and you don't have to do that you can use banana and chocolate spread you can use apples and peanut butter anything you really want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in i've already cut our tortilla and for this um sweet tortilla wrap i'm going to put my apple on the first side so I'm just going to make a little barrier so our apple don't fall over, come out. And I want all of this to be covered, like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on top our chocolate spread. And as I said, you can personalise it. You don't have to add chocolate spread, but I'm adding chocolate spread. So I'm just going to layer it on. And I'm doing this on the top, just above our apples. And I want quite, I like um, having lots of chocolate spread. And so I'm going to just make sure all of this gets covered. And this is a really quick and easy tortilla wrap that you can make. It's, and this is unique as you can make this. Yeah, as you can customize it you don't have to stick to this recipe but you can use uh you can use this recipe you can use anything really you, anything you find at home you can just put them together and make something nice so i'm going to put apples on on this side now so i'm just going to put our apples and i'm making a barrier again as our chocolate and Nutella are going to war. Okay, so I've done that now. Now for, on for our last side, I'm going to put a lot of chocolate spread on again. Our Nutella. And guys, comment down below what your favourite food combination is. I quite actually like apple and Nutella. But lots of people actually like apples and peanut butter. I I don't disagree with them. It's just that I actually prefer this one. Comment down below. What do you prefer? Okay. I'm just going to make a barrier here as well. Okay. So now that I've done that, I can add in some more apples because I, I found some spots which I think need some more apples. So just like that. Now we're going to fold. So we're going to grab our first side. And this takes quite some handwork as the, as our things that might fall off. So I'm just going to make sure. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this side again. And we're going to go fold over onto, onto our chocolate. And if you think that there is too many apples, you can take some out. So I think this one's a bit too much. So you can munch on this one for later. So I think about that many apples should be fine. Now we're going to go on top of our, onto our apple side now. And onto our chocolate side. And there we have it. This one is completely now done now. Now I'm going to show you guys how to cook them. And and I'm going to show you how to cook them in two different ways. 
So I'll see you guys then. So guys, I'm going to tell you guys how you make it in an electric kill. So first what you're going to do is you're going to plug your grill in and you're going to you're going to open it up. Now you can get an adult to help you. And what you're going to do is just you're going to put in put whatever one you're going to put in and we're going to wait for it to cook and what and I'll see you guys once it's cooked. So let's close the lid first. So guys, let's open it up as there's a nice smell. Oh guys, it looks really good. I am going to just flip it, but I'm going to turn off my heat now. And I'm going to open it. And I'm going to just pick it up. And I'm going to get and I'm going to plate it as my grill is on both of the sides. So I'll show you guys how it looks now. So we are at our pan now and we are going to put our heat to medium low, just on medium for now. So our heat is on medium, as you guys can see. And we're going to add on a little bit of oil, so our pan is coated in it, but not too much. So I'm going to put it on now. Okay. So I'm just going to spread it around my pan. And if you think that you put too much oil, you can easily take it out. But I think this should be enough for now. So we're just going to wait for our pan to heat up a little bit. And I am going to grab a spatula. And on this one, we will be cooking our salty or spicy unique tortilla wraps so I'm just going to so while our oil is spread all around if you want you can use a spatula to help you now get an adult to help you while cooking these as we are going to be near fire so I'm going to put our heat to medium low and we are going to put our tortilla wrap on this now and I'm going to put our out it on and I'm putting my heat down to low as my oil is heated up so I'm going to put it on and you guys can hear it it's cooking and we're going to just wait for this to cook and I'll show you guys how to cook our other one as well after this so guys I think it's red I, it's time to flip our so as you guys can see, it is not fully cooked, but it's got the oil it needs on it. And we'll just let this cook on about medium, medium low heat. And I'll see you guys once it's cooked. Guys, I have our sides are golden brown now, and I am going to be putting this onto our plate. And I'm going to show you guys how we would make it in the grill. So guys, our tortilla wraps have come out of the grill and the pan and they are looking so good. I'm going to try it now. I'm going to try the spicy and the sweet one, the sweet one. This, um, this is salty as well. Mmm. It's so good guys. I really need to try making this one. Let's try our sweet one now. It is so good guys. Guys, I actually really can't stop myself from eating them. They are really, really good. Oh my god. 
And guys, you really, really need to try and make one. You need to, you can customize them, you can add in eggs, olives, anything you like, but go, go make these. But before you do, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Until next time, guys, bye bye! <laughs>